Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. We have an interesting conversation today. So as you know, at What If, we believe business is a three-legged stool. It is business, yes, but there's also two other important pieces, and that is the mind and the body. You cannot be a successful entrepreneur without maximizing the way you show up in your mind and your body. And today, we have a body conversation. We have a health expert with us. I'm super excited to dive in. This is an area that I'm super passionate about uh, because of maybe a not so great health history. So I can't wait to dive in uh, and welcome Amy to the show. So let's start there. Amy, welcome. Thank you for joining us on Harmonious at Lunch. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here, guys. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited to dive in, but tell me a little bit, what what would you call what you do? I know you called it health coaching uh, you know, before we started the episode, but can you elaborate on what exactly that means? So essentially what it means is that I help you navigate your health situation, whatever your particular chronic disease is. I do focus on chronic diseases specifically. And that means, you know, taking a look at, you know, making sure you know what your chronic disease actually means. What is it actually doing to you and your body? And what does that disease process look like in the long term? Secondly, you know, obviously focusing on your normal things, your nutrition and your physical activity. Obviously, those are very, you know, standard components to pretty much every health or wellness, you know, program. They are essential components. So, of course, we focus on those things. I do also very specifically in the nutrition component, talk to you about multiple different types of um, diets, not like I'm going on a diet, but like what are you eating more so? What is the nutritional component of your of your life look like? And making sure that what you're eating fits your specific disease process and can benefit that you specifically in that manner. And then of course doing the physical activity component and you know kind of meeting you where you are and you know, because not everybody's coming into this. Not everybody goes to the gym five days a week. You know what I mean? And um, you know, there are a lot of people who come in to decide that they're going to do something about their health and they've been complete couch potatoes and they've literally done no exercise at all whatsoever in years, uh, if ever. <laughs> um, and so then we also go into things like stress management and sleep and mindset because, I mean, ultimately, if you don't believe that things can change, they're not going to, essentially, is where it comes down to. So we talk about a lot about that kind of stuff too. That's awesome. Okay, so I lied. I said this was going to focus on uh mind or, or body, but we're talking about mind and body and of course how it relates to business. So this is this is a crucial conversation. Now we are coming up on the beginning of the year. So that means everyone's about to renew their gym memberships and they're right. they're gonna go, right? Like this is the year we're gonna go, but it's not because of your mindset. You're gonna go for exactly. three weeks and then you're gonna stop. So let's start with the mindset then. What how yeah. do we how do we tackle that before we dive into the rest of the health conversation? Well, so you have to start out just being fully committed, saying, yes, I am going to do this. And, you know, think about like a little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. And if you keep up the positivity and keep up, I'm going to do this. And it's almost shifting your mindset of, you know, my name is Amy Rossini and I go to the gym five days a week. It doesn't have to be five days a week, but you know, if that's what you want your your goal, if that's your goal, you know, it has to be who you identify as as a person, and you know, starting there. And once you you know kind of commit yourself to that and keep that as your central mantra, that helps to motivate you to continue to move on and progress forward. But a lot of people get you know very discouraged, especially in January. You know, ever like you said, everybody's renewing their gym memberships and they're like gung ho, like I'm gonna do better this year and I'm gonna lose some weight and I'm gonna feel better. And then so the gyms are crazy packed in January, a little less packed in February, and by March there's essentially nobody there, right? <laughs> so the problem with that is, is that people don't realize your body takes more time than that to really be making those changes. And it requires the consistency and that mindset to be able to, to get you there. And, you know, they, let's say you start out and you're going five days a week. If you're going five days a week and you're going for like a couple of weeks and you haven't really seen a whole lot of changes or what you're expecting to change, 
then you are far more likely to just say, oh, well, this isn't working. I'm just, I'm just not even going to bother. This is, you know, not for me. And you really need somebody in your corner, you know, kind of cheerleading you on. And that's where the health coaching comes in and, you know, making sure that you stay on track and that you understand why you're not seeing certain changes and being able to make those adjustments so that you will see the changes that you're looking for. But just knowing that your body does take physiologically more time than that to actually make certain changes. So. Yeah, I think that's even in business, that's where a lot of people get lost because they're like, okay, I, I joined this mastermind or I I subscribe to this coach or whatever it is. You make a change and you don't see results for whatever the period of time you had in your mind was. Mm -hmm. And then you get discouraged and you quit. So absolutely. Can you, can you tell me as far as the gym and, and, and maybe dieting too, how do you leverage analytics and just tracking your progress to help people stay on track? Well, so there, are, I have a whole slew of different tools that we use um, specifically for outcome measuring, kind of seeing where are you when you're starting the program. We revisit those things periodically throughout the program, as well as at the end of the program too. And then, you know, kind of seeing where you are at a starting point. And that also gives me the information so that I know what do we need to be focusing on with you specifically? Is there anything in particular that, you know, maybe you need more of than somebody else does. And so while it is a group coaching program, there is that individual aspect of things to where, you know, you're not just getting a blanket information exactly the same as everybody else. So let's say you come in for diabetes, you're going to get some of the same information, some of the generalized stuff, but then there is specific stuff for diabetes that you're not going to get if you're in the program for, let's say, heart disease, for example. You know, if you're in the program for heart disease, you are less likely to, some things obviously overlap because our body is such so interconnected, but they are spun in the sense of I'm going to focus on this topic, but in the specific sense of heart disease or this topic in the specific sense of diabetes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, as somebody with diabetes and several other chronic diseases, I don't want to say I'm a chronic disease expert, but I have a few of them. So I'm, I've am i been down this <laughs> path uh, to some degree in my life, and I'm, I'm personally all about preventative maintenance. I think yes. that is so crucial when you're talking about your health, your diet, your business, whatever, if you can stop it before it happens, trust me, it's less expensive and it's it's less of a heartache in the long run. Oh, so absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let's kind of shift to that. So, you know, we talked about having chronic diseases and and working through that process to become healthy, but what can what can the average person, the healthy person do to kind of push off disease onset and and just aging in general what what are some things we can do proactively to help ourselves be better leaders better entrepreneurs better business men and oh, women absolutely you know i mean there are a lot of things that you can do more proactively so but it really depends on what your what your risk factors are. So let's say, you know, are you at risk for having diabetes? Are you already, you know, pre-diabetic or you have a family history of diabetes? Those are the things that you're going to need to focus on. So it really depends on what your specific chronic disease is, what you're going to want to focus on. Um, but diet, what are you eating and how much physical activity are you getting? Those are very, very standard, absolutely essential points to be just a starting point. Um, you know, those are going to be the things that probably get you your quickest wins. Um, but they're not necessarily going to be the things that give you that sustained outcome. And, you know, there's a lot of people who go in and they, you know, start on a diet, a very specific diet plan and, um, you know, go to start going to the gym and they lose all this weight. Talk about like, um, the TV show, Biggest Losers, okay? They go in and they lose hundreds of pounds, right? Almost every single one of them goes home and they gain every single bit of it back when the show is over. Every single mm -hmm. bit of it. Because they've not changed all of the other crucial components. Yeah, I think the first and foremost would be the mindset, like we yeah, talked about, absolutely. right? And, and the mindset along with your environment. Yes. Because when they go, when they're in the show, they're in another location. They're, this is a strange foreign place and they become that person, the person it takes to lose 100, 200 pounds. When they That's go exactly back right. 
to where they were. And this is this is the same in business too, which a lot of people overlook. So I'm, I'm so glad you brought this up. Yeah. When you, e- even just going to a different working location, you can see things from a different perspective because you're exactly. not identifying as the person you are normally. Right. So it's just uh, like, awesome. I mean, this is even applicable for, I mean, pretty much any area of life, even if you're not talking about business specifically, talk about um, addicts, people that are addicted yeah. to drugs or, you know, any, any form of addiction, you know, drugs, alcohol, exercise for that matter. You know, if you are, if you have an addiction, you go to rehab for whatever that addiction is to, you know, reverse that process. And, but then you go back home when you're done with that program, maybe you got off of, you know, the drugs or the alcohol or whatever it was, you know, and you go back home, you're putting yourself right back in that exact same situation that is inevitably going to put you right back, you know, into the same exact habits. You're surrounding yourself with the same people. You're surrounding yourself with the same, you know, routines, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, changing what your environment looks like. And, you know, sometimes it involves making some very hard decisions for yourself and what your environment is going to look like. Um, But, you know, changing that mindset around what your ultimate goal is and where you want to be is huge and actually is the thing that gets you there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we uh, before we wrap up here in a few minutes, if this resonates with with you listening, um, Amy, where can people reach out to take that first step and and start working with you? Absolutely. So you can absolutely find me on Facebook, um, Amy A I M E E Rossini R O S S I N I. Also have my business page, Camp Health and Wellness. Uh, also on Facebook, I do also have a private Facebook group that you can. Um, request to join. And um, you can also text me as well if you would like to set up a time for us to chat, just a 30-minute chat about how my program can help you. You can also text the word discovery to 502-208-5879. Awesome. So I'll put all of that in the show notes. If you're watching, listening, Whatever platform you're on, all of that information will be in the show notes. Now, take take me through the process. So when when someone does take that first step and they reach out to you, what does it look like for them? I understand it's custom, but do you have like a roadmap you you like to take people through to get that result that they're looking for? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, first and foremost is health literacy. So actually understanding what your diagnosis is, what it means, what is it doing to your body? That is going to be first and foremost, because that is very eye opening for a lot of people. They have, you know, absolutely no idea what their actual disease process means. And actually, that's really the straw that broke the camel's back for me and got me started on the process of starting my own business for health coaching. It's because I sat in the living room of a lady as a physical therapist who had been diagnosed with Parkinson's two years prior to that and had absolutely no idea what it was. She's like, what exactly is that? And I'm like, excuse me, really? You have been diagnosed with this for two years and nobody has explained this to you? So she sat there for two years with this disease process, you know, taking its toll on her body, having no idea what was happening, where she was, what road she was even heading down and, you know, not having any idea of how to combat that. So understanding first and foremost, your disease process and what it means is absolute number one key crucial. Then, you know, obviously like the things that are going to, we talked about before, going to get you your, you know, your fastest quick win type of things, your nutrition and your physical activity are our next steps. You know, and then we move on from there with the mindset stuff and kind of getting getting you into all of those under, understanding pieces that are going to be the crucial crucial things for that long term sustainability and that long term implementation. That's great. Now, let me allow me to just give you a testimonial here. I've never worked with Amy, but what I will say is when I started this journey in in my own life out of necessity, I wish I had a resource like this, to, to be completely honest with you, because What I realized was, you know, Amy's not part of the traditional healthcare system. When you go to see a doctor, you get in front of them for five, maybe 10 minutes if you're lucky per appointment. They don't educate you on how to get better. They just prescribe and push you out of their office. You have to take control of if it's a disease or just your health in general. You have to be proactive. You have to take that step and the initiative yourself. And with Amy's help, you can get there probably way further and way faster than than I was able to just seeking out that knowledge on my own. 
But what I will say on the flip side is having gone through that process and having been proactive and, and done the work and optimizing my diet and my health, I'm a better leader now. I'm a better team player. I'm a better business owner because I know I don't have to worry about my health. So for all of you entrepreneurs and business owners out there and leaders, that's really what we're talking about. We're, we're talking about in the harmonious architecture, inspire your leadership. People are not going to follow an unhealthy, unfit leader. It's just statistically proven. Look at the Fortune 500. Look at all the CEOs, COOs, top-level C-suite executives. They're all fit. A lot of those people, most of those people are in great shape. They take care of themselves because they understand they can't show up and lead if their body and their mind is not in the right space. So if that's where you're going, if you want to grow your company, you have to reach out to somebody like Amy who can help get you there, get over those health hurdles um, and and be the best you you can be. So Amy, I, I really appreciate this conversation. And yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm just... There's there's actually a couple of things that I was you know thinking about when you were talking about that. So like, oh, did you know that 95% of health decisions are made by the individual without even talking to any kind of medical provider? 95%. That's crazy. I did not Isn't know that crazy? that's a lot. Isn't that insane? That's just nuts. That's first. The second thing is when you're talking about fit leaders and you're thinking, you know, I don't have time for that. I'm too busy with my business or with whatever your life, whatever you're doing. Think about this. So President Obama, former President Obama, very fit. He went to the gym every single day. He's probably the was probably the busiest man on the planet at the time that he was president. Right. He found it somehow in his day to make it to a workout every single day. Can't tell me you're busier than the president of the United States, right? That's a slap in the face. Amy just reached <laughs> through the microphone and she slapped you listening. If you have an excuse, <laughs> there it goes. That's right. Wow, that's awesome. Now, tell me. So before we wrap up, I know you have a special giveaway. It's it's very seasonal. So give, share what you're doing around the holidays. Um, it is. So I have got a 12 days of Christmas promo coming up here. It launches on the 14th and every three days there will be a new promo, but there are going to be limited spots with every single offer. So, um, and then there's going to be a pinnacle of one um, on Christmas. So it is actually a total of five different offers. So all of them are completely unique. All of them totally different than, than the last. So just because you decide to do the first one doesn't mean that you feel like you're going to be missing out by, you know, you know, waiting to the next one coming along. So they are all totally different. And who, who are these designed for? What, what type of person? So every single one of these offers can be applicable to every single person with a chronic disease. And so uh, just to give you a little spoiler alert, a couple of them are going to be involved around personal training and uh, one in particular, and then uh, mindset as well as one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. So it's coming. Okay. That's awesome. Well, I'm super excited to see those. You heard it here first. So right. we'll, again, all the details in the show notes, make sure you go grab those promos and take advantage. It's that time of year. Get your gym memberships ready and then also get rid of your excuses. Let's go. Come on. That's time right. To get back in out shape. the window. No more excuses. <laughs> get them out there. Awesome, Amy. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This was a great episode. And remember, if you want to be the best leader you can be, you have to optimize your mind. You have to optimize your body. Those are non-negotiable. So please reach out to Amy. Her info is down below. You know where to find her. This has been a fantastic episode of Harmonious at Lunch, and we will see you on the next one.